Welcome to Inside the Paint, an inside look into all of the action from the British Basketball League. We were on the road to the playoffs and the O2 Arena, and all the teams are fighting to secure their spots in the league standings. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the action. My name is Tahir Hadja, and I'm joined by former London Lions, Azania Stewart and Ovi Soko. Azania, we are back from the international break. What did you think of the GB national men's team performance? Um, I thought fantastic. They went uh, one and one. They won to Netherlands and then Czechia. They took a 12-point loss. Um, but what I liked about it is that they've got some new guys that have been entered into the, the team. But the vet presence of a Mal Hessen, a um, Luke Nelson, Carl Wheatle, who who's gone to the captain, I felt like they showed the way, they led the way scoring and the GB mentality and mindset. So I really enjoyed the play. And lastly, we just want to make it clear about what the context is for this. It's Euro basket and it's the international winner. Just explain yep. a little bit more about that, how that works. Yeah, so it's three windows over a whole year. So uh, February was the first window. November of this year will be the second. And then the third window will be uh, February 2025. So a really long window did um you know campaign but such a great one for them to get back into the euro basket they've done really well to get that first especially home win their group is very tough with greece um czechia and then netherlands and then themselves it's going to be important to put a lot of points and as many points as you can on the board well they're one on one and we're hoping for the best for the gb national men's team so make sure you lock into the social media to stay in touch with what is happening but here in the british basketball league we've got the all-star game to worry about over the all-star game is around the corner how excited are you north versus south it's gonna be big repping time <laughs> it's repping time i mean i'm super excited all-star basketball is always fun um whichever league whichever sport you're looking at the best of the best uh and you know we're gonna have that on display at the copper box so yeah i would encourage everyone to get down there to view the spectacle that it will be well, March 17th, the Copper Box Arena. You can purchase your tickets now or watch live on Sky Sports. Gareth Murray and Petr Bozic have been busy strategizing. And tonight, the reserves for the All-Stars have been announced. Now, for the North, we have Le Quincy Rideau. We're not sure how he wasn't picked originally, but we'll take him as long as he's there. Jamel Anderson from the Manchester Giants. Clifton Moore Jr. from the Caledonia Gladiators. The high flyer from the Sheffield Sharks, Jalen Pipkins. And from the Newcastle Eagles, their fourth player, Sticky. Ricky, McGill, Azania. Let's talk about the fact that Newcastle have managed to have four players in this all-star lineup. I mean, it's testament to their team, really. And really, they're a highlight team, aren't they? I think they're sitting fourth in the league. Um, you got to shout out the Newcastle fans because obviously it's a fan vote. So well done from them. But I really like them uh, as a unit. And going into the All-Star, to have your brothers and your teammates, I think that's going to be really fun for them. And they'll come together and put on a show as they play together all year. I mean, like... Jordan Johnson could put up 30. Uh, Ricky McGill could put up 30. <laughs> yeah. Josh Green could give you a double-double. You know, Larry Austin Jr. Yeah. could get... He could get double-double in steals and points or yeah. assists, you know? And they could pretty much start. So it's, what, four four guys from the same team? It's pretty much Newcastle versus the South. Wow. Newcastle versus the South. Coach Bozic, he selected these following players for the South. Tevin Ollison from the Bristol Flyers. Kimball McKenzie, the floor general for the Leicester Riders. And from the Surrey Scorchers, Padilla Wang. We all know what the Wang gang can do. And TJ Atwood will represent the Plymouth City Patriots. And, well, it's not very controversial because there's context to this. Ovi explained about Gabe Olasheni's set of skills and how if you want to win games, then you put Gabe in the lineup. Yeah. If you want to wow crowds that are maybe not used to the very intricate details of the wonderful game of basketball, then you might not necessarily pick him for an all-star game. Yeah, I mean, you know, Gabe is, he's an old school guy. He's all about the meat and potatoes, put the ball in the basket, <laughs> two points, it counts regardless. You know, but the all-star game is for the finesse, it's for the flares, for the flashy stuff. Um, and that's not what Gabe does, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's all love, Gabe. Love you, man. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, I wouldn't have picked him for the All-Star uh, game, but I'm happy to see him out there. The only thing that's All-Star about him is that moustache. The well, moustache. That's you strong. know what? You know what the best thing in the world could happen is? Is Gabe turns up, starts coming up there, 180 reverse between his leg, dimes, etc. He might have that in the locker. He's you got dimes. Know. 
Gabe has dimes, he yeah. has dimes, but is he the one who I'm going to want bringing the ball up on that team with Teddy Buckets on the floor and, you know, It's all still know. game, why not? For fun. For fun. For point, fun. point forward. <laughs> uh, well, look, this Thursday night, the Sheffield Sharks, the Plymouth City Patriots faced off. Here's what happened in this game. Well, the Sheffield Sharks took victory 97 to 60 and they started nice and early with a bang. Malik Green, 20 plus points in this game, double-double overall uh, for him. RJ Ito Rock knocking down the triple. It was really easy for the Sheffield Sharks in this one. Plymouth City Patriots failed to put up a huge fight. They really struggled on the defensive end. 16 turnovers leading to plenty of points for the Sharks. Victory for the B. Braun Sheffield Sharks. Well, let's take a look at where that leaves us, okay, in the results and standings in the league. Well, there it is. Ovia Zania is pretty tight in this one. The Sheffield Sharks have improved to 12 and 14. Your thoughts on it? Yeah, I think this is the best time to play your best basketball in the playoffs. All that middle um, part of the pack is going to be really crucial, especially home games. I think it's important that you stamp those ones in. Um, I don't know. It's going to be going up and down in the next couple of games. So we'll just have to see how it's going to look. Plymouth and Manchester, I'm going to talk to you about those two bottom teams. Is there any hope that they can catch up? Um, Plymouth, uh, after looking how they came out tonight, no chance. No chance for those guys. Um, and, I, and I say that because, you know, they had a break, and the break is really where you're going to make adjustments, where you're going to tweak things. And I didn't see enough um, from them as far as seeing what the coach might have moved around. Uh, on the other side of things, I feel like the Sheffield Sharks, we saw a different version of them um, come out this evening, which is really, really exciting to see. I feel like three through eight, um, a lot can move around. Nothing is set in stone in those spots. The two top teams, I do see those guys sort of resting at the top of the table. Um, but yeah, three through eight, it's all to play for. Well, we have five more games this week. On Friday, the Manchester Giants will host the Caledonia Gladiators. Manchester need this win if they want to climb into a playoff position. Also tipping off on Friday, the Leicester Riders will host the Cheshire Phoenix. We've got Leicester coach Rob Paternostro with Dan Routledge in commentary. Rob, if you beat Cheshire, London will win the league. What is the strategy for this one? I know what you're like, Rob. I know it doesn't matter what's happened, who's coming up against you. You're going for the jugular, surely. Well, sure. You know, we've uh, had a tough loss to them in the trophy. Uh, you know, one, we had the one-point lead late, so certainly they're a tough team to play. we got to play good defense, good transition defense against them. Watch them over the last few weeks. They are flying up the floor. And, and Rob, you've eased back into the break after the break you've got London away on Sunday after playing uh, Cheshire and obviously Gabe will be fired up when he hears what <laughs> Obi's been yeah, saying thanks, about Obi. him. Uh, but yeah no we know we have a big weekend ahead first have to concentrate on the home game talk about that game Sunday at London after that but London been resting up uh, ready to go for a, for a final push so we know we have our work cut out for us but this is what it's about you want to play against the best and we got the two best teams with record wise this weekend we'll be ready to roll. Well, thank you very much, Dan and Rob. We'll be looking forward to that one live on the British Basketball League YouTube channel. Well, on Saturday, the Surrey Scorchers will travel to face the Bristol Flyers. Obi, Bristol and Surrey are currently tied on 11 wins apiece and are narrowly holding on to those playoff positions. How important is this ball game? I mean, it's a big time ball game. The, the first game, I think, coming off the break uh, and both teams are going to want to make advancements up the table. So, you know, I feel like every game from this point out, um, from all those teams, like I said, three through eight, there's so much to play for now. So I feel like all of these teams, they need to be gearing up for the playoffs and really be in playoff mode. Well, Azania, it seems to me that, you know, for Bristol, Surrey are their bogey team. They've played each other three times already this season, and Surrey has walked away with a victory every single time. How do you think Bristol Flyers are going to be focusing in on this game? Well, obviously, you don't want to take four L's. Um, but for me, I think it's uh, really difficult to beat a team four times, to adjust, to, you know, make sure that you can execute. Um, so for me, Bristol, obviously, you would feel 
you know, away. Um, but as sorry, you can build confidence from that. Hey, we've beaten those guys, but do not take anything for granted. You've got to play really hard. Well, to close out the weekend, Rob's Leicester Riders will take on the London Lions, followed by the Cheshire Phoenix hosting the Sheffield Sharks. Oh, it didn't happen last weekend, but London with a chance now to lift the championship again this weekend. They've been chilling in Lisbon. They've been eating pastel de natas and drinking espressos. You know, they'll be chilling in Lisbon. Whoa, are they going to win it this year or are they going to be too laid back? I mean, with London, it just depends how they come out. I feel like we've seen London come out in different, um, different versions of these guys throughout the season. Uh, but if it's a focused London team, if it's a team... Um, that I think will come out this weekend after the break, after the guys have been able to go home um, and have that mental break. I, I feel like they get it done uh, this weekend. Well, that's Ovi's thoughts there, Zania. It looks like London won't be losing the top position in the league table, but do you think Cheshire could do the same with second position in the league? Are they going to be as consistent as London will be towards the end of the season? I think even better. I think since, sorry, I'm going to say it, um, since the trophy that they just were firing on all cylinders, you can see coach uh, Ben has just got them all together. They're having fun. They're relaxed. Um, they're smiling. And that is the best time to play your basketball when you actually like the guy next to you. They're still you on the unbeaten street, right? They, I think nobody's beaten them yet. So. so unbeatable. There we go. We'll get that going again. Um, but for me, yeah, I think nobody's going to touch them, especially uh, from the trophy beating London Lions where they were full, you know, um, had the whole roster going. I think they're in a really good groove. It's going to take somebody really tough and uh, have to put a complete 40 minute game to beat them. Well, that's all from us this week. Leave a comment below to let us know which game you'll be tuning into this weekend. And make sure to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss a minute of the British Basketball League. Goodbye for now. We'll see you soon. We are unbeatable.